Hello, Pain Free for Life members, and welcome to the Vagus Nerve Stimulation video. Now, this video was actually uh, created way back when we first started the online training, but it's getting revamped a little bit due to the addition of the Avazia Life Evolution. So this video is going to be primarily focused on how to do vagus nerve stimulation with the Evolution device, and I'm also going to show you how to do it with the new vagus nerve pad so you can treat yourself more easily. All right, let's take a look. So what is vagus nerve stimulation? Well, for those of you who don't know, the vagus nerve itself is a very diverse nerve. It has both sensory and motor functions, including communicating from your ear canal and parts of your throat, sending sensory information from organs in your chest, such as your heart and intestines, allowing motor control of muscles in your throat, stimulating the muscles of organs in your chest and trunk, including those that move food through your digestive tract, providing a sense of taste near the root of your tongue. It also runs from your brain, wrapping itself throughout many of your major organs and sends signals throughout these pathways. You can see this in the illustration to the right, just how integral it is to all of this. It's just really intertwined with everything. How does microcurrent fit in? Well, in the world of conventional medicine, vagus nerve stimulation through microcurrent is a, a fairly new um, surgical proce procedure. It costs between $20,000 and $40,000 in the US to implant a medical device on the nerve to deliver microcurrent stimulation to the nerve to help shut down pain. Now, these stimulators, they go off all the time. They just keep going and going and going. Um, the, one of the major downsides to them is the surgery itself is invasive, um, and people always should avoid surgeries if they can. But another downside to it is that the uh, devices will go off, um, eventually breaking down and will be need, need to be replaced after five or so years. So you need to then have another surgery to go in there. Now, we can actually do this without the surgery and without any complications using our microcurrent technology. So how does it work? Well, in the five elements training, you'll notice that we discussed the occasions in which the brain becomes obsessed with pain during stressful situations, whether it's physical or mental. Now, the vagus nerve is the switch. Microcurrent is how we operate it. Microcurrent stimulation of the vagus nerve removes you from a beta brainwave state and places you in an alpha brainwave state. Now, inflammation cannot be created while we're in an alpha state. The result of this is that vagus nerve stimulation helps with all painful conditions and is particularly adept at shutting down migraines, arthritis pain and swelling, CRPS, and other autoimmune diseases. So what settings do we recommend? Well, this protocol is immensely frequency specific, yet there are a few ways to perform it. I want to note here that the MedSport is not equipped to perform vagus nerve stimulation, and the original Avazia Life is not really either. Regardless of device, you're going to set a comfortable power level, looking for the quiver on the nerve itself. You're going to keep it comfortable. For the Pro Sport, you'll set your device to FM712A, or if you have a Pro Sport Ultra, you can use AVA and set it to 7.83 Hertz, though this does not appear to be as effective as using the algorithm that runs between 7 and 12. What about the Avazia Life Evolution? Well, the Evolution is equipped with 7 to 12 Hertz, the identical algorithm that's within the ProSport device. Because these frequencies operate in the alpha range, they are absolutely ideal for vagus nerve stimulation. So you would be using that first mode that is the, the, the device will switch to when you first turn it on. So let's talk about the left side rule. The vagus nerve is different on the left and the right side. The left side wraps down the front of your body and interacts mostly with the gut. The right side goes down your back and interacts more with the heart and the lungs. As a general rule of thumb, we only treat the left side of the vagus nerve with the exception of migraines and heart slash lung issues. When it comes to migraines, we first treat the left side and then ask the patient to tell us if the pain gets worse at all during treatment. If it does, stop immediately, move over to the right side, and start vagus nerve stimulation there. In the following section, I'll show you how to perform vagus nerve stimulation on yourself, both using the wire electrode and the simple-to-use vagus nerve conductive pad. Hi there. So uh, for those who don't know me face-to-face, -face, I'm Rob from Pain Free for Life. 
And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to do vagus nerve stimulation on yourself um, using the Avazia Life Evolution. But of course, this will work just as well if you have the Pro Sport 3, uh, where you can go in and you can just switch the mode. It will be FM 7-12A. However, if you're using the Avazia Life Evolution, all you need to do to do vagus nerve stimulation is flip it on. And that first light is going to come on, the 7 to 12, and you'll be good to go there. I recommend doing this with a Y electrode. The back of the device, the electrode here, is not as effective at doing it. But once you've got the, the Y electrode set up, you just plug it into the side of the device here. And then you're going to adjust the power. So you can put the, the Y electrode on your neck. Both of the balls need to make contact. But at this point, we're not placing it on the vagus nerve. We're just going to adjust the power. So I'm going to adjust the power until I can feel it by holding down the plus button. You see the burgundy plus button there. And I'm going to start to feel a little tingle. There we go. So my next step is to locate, I'm on my left side because that's where you want to do vagus nerve stimulation. I'm going to be quiet for a second while I locate my carotid artery. should be able to feel your pulse there. So I found it there. And then what I do is I crawl back just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the electrode right there. And I'll be able to feel it jiggling. And I can feel it right here and up here. This would be where I where I'm where I want it to be. And I'm going to need to control that jiggling as it goes. I'm going to be treating it for three minutes. On the evolution, I do not have a timer, so I have to just do that in my head. If the jiggling, as it is right now, is getting more and more intense, you just lower the power a little bit to control it. You don't want it to, to be too violent of a jiggle. So once you've done three minutes, you've completed vagus nerve. If you were treating a migraine, as I mentioned in the video, you would need to go back and you would need to do the other side. So I would stop and I would immediately do the same thing on my right side um, if the migraine got worse. If it's getting better or it's staying the same as you start treatment, stick to the left side. All right, so next I'm going to show you how to do it with the vagus nerve pad. So same thing, I'm going to take the pad. This is the vagus nerve pad. It's like a little mini bow tie. Um, and you're going to plug your red and black lead wire, one into each one of these plugs. And that's it. Once you've got that set up, you're just going to plug that into your machine. I recommend with this one, placing the pad prior to turning the machine on just because it's a bit more encumbersome. So again, you want to locate your carotid artery, go a little, crawl a little bit further backwards. You're going to place your pad right there. You're going to hold, want to hold it in place while you start treating to make sure you're getting it in the right spot. So I've turned on my Avazia Life Evolution back onto 7 to 12, which is the right frequency. And I'm going to adjust the power by holding down the red button. I can immediately feel it jiggling away there. So what you're ideally looking for is placement is going to be roughly an inch below your earlobe. And then it's going to just go down there. This pad is perfect for this because it actually mimics the, the width of the Y electrode. So you can see here, that's the spacing I would get with this guy. So I'm able to passively treat my vagus nerve hands-free. Now these pads over time are gonna reduce their stickiness. You can pick up some um, tents of gel from the Santa shop. One tube is about $7. That tube will last you um, for quite some time, just adjusting the power because the jiggle was really out of control. One tube will last you for quite some time, it might last you years. You just apply a little bit to each of the black part of the electrode. Let me turn this off and show you what I mean. Again, you would run that for three minutes, regardless of what mode you're using, method you're using. These little black parts here will lose, they're the sticky parts, but they will eventually lose their stick. And then we can add some tensive gel, just a little dollop to each one, just sort of rub it in a bit, and you're going to want to go wash your hands afterwards. But that's going to increase the stickiness tenfold. And then you'll be able to apply it. Once you're done, you just place it back on the little sheet that it came on, you can unplug it, put it back in the little bag that it came with as well. Um, and that will, that's pretty much sums up vagus nerve stimulation. 
there's not much more to talk about really you want to make sure you're always doing it with the 7 to 12 hertz mode which is that first mode um you do not really want to be doing it with any other modes we want to keep it low in alpha and we also don't want to use a really high powerful hertz that is going to overwhelm the vagus nerve so stick to that mode three minutes and you want to do it four times per day for optimum results i hope that was helpful Hello everyone. So I've already shown you how to do vagus nerve stimulation on yourself, but I haven't shown you how to do it on someone else. And it is a little bit different because you've got more freedom to landmark correctly. Vagus nerve stimulation is nigh impossible to perform with the back of the device. I don't think that you can really get it on there because it's such a big electrode. It's meant more for mass painting. The Y electrode, if you're gonna use it on someone else, absolutely awesome for this. I don't think I recommend another attachment for it. If you, you could also use the vagus nerve pad, whether you're using it on someone else or yourself, but if you, this isn't gonna be anywhere near as awkward for you to hold the Y electrode in place as it is for you to hold it on yourself. Um, holding it on someone else is okay. So I'm gonna switch the machine off here and then back on again. So turn the machine on and you're immediately on seven to 12 hertz. You can see that by the LED highlighted there. Then I'm gonna go over here and just gonna ask you to tell me when you can feel it. Okay, so there's a rule of thumb with vagus nerve, I did mention this earlier, that you can go about an inch below the earlobe and you'll probably get it. Um, now this does differ depending on who you're treating because people's necks are different shapes. Um, and it's really the neck and the face, they do play a, a role here. Some people's heads are a bit further forward and, and all that stuff. I'm not quite sure if this is actually getting it. No, I think it is. It is, yeah. Yeah, so what you'll notice when you get it is you'll feel a slight jiggle and the patient's gonna feel that jiggling more than you are. So if they say, yeah, I can feel my my, my uh, carotid artery um, jerking around a little bit in that, then chances are you found the vagus nerve. Now, the other method would be to try and locate that carotid artery. You feel that pulse beating there. Go back about a finger length and there you go. And again, you can see some, some shaking here. We're roughly an inch below the earlobe. So it all tends to work out that way. But when in doubt, find the carotid. Usually you'll have to get the patient to be quiet if they're talkative so you can actually feel it and hear it. Um, but once you've got that, you can just trace back and do it. And as mentioned, you treat for three minutes, left side only, unless you need to move to the right side for the reasons listed in the video. All right, I hope that was helpful. Congratulations on completing the Vegas Nerve training video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Drop them in the comments below, send us an email at support at painfreeforlife.com, or just give us a call at 1-888-758-0851. We'll be happy to help.